talking to me and everything and, and, and explaining this to me. And I'm like, so what does that mean? If adults don't want to buy three and three quarter inch figures, you only want to sell to half the market of people out. Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the news desk here at that new toy smell. Whether you like it or not, I'm your host, Dirt. Let's take a look at this week's news. We got a couple of big announcements coming out of the 2011 International Licensing Expo. One of the first big pieces of news to come out was that Playmates again got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles license. Now this really isn't that big of a surprise considering Playmates has been doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys for, I don't know, 20 years, 25 years? 30 years? I'm not exactly sure. I'm getting old. Old enough, I don't really remember. But needless to say, they've been doing Turtles toys for about as long as there have been Turtles toys. So for them to get the license is not that big of a surprise. It will be surprising to see exactly what figures are coming out. We've heard rumors of comic-based figures. We've heard rumors of figures based off the new show. We've heard rumors of movie-based figures. We've heard rumors that all of these are true and they will all be coming out. We can only hope and pray that we do in fact get every single character in every single style in every single color variation all at once that's what we want because we don't want money for anything else the other big piece of news that came out of the 2011 International Licensing Expo was that Mattel once again gets the Warner Brothers DC Comics licenses, this time for the Dark Knight Rises movie and the Man of Steel movie. Now, Dark Knight Rises, of course, everyone knows about. They've been expecting that ever since the end of uh, the last movie, The Dark Knight. However, Man of Steel is a movie that's still very much up in the air. DC Comics and Warner Brothers have to get a movie in production by the end of this year or they lose the rights to do so. There's been a lot of ongoing um, legal wrangling in between the families of Siegel and Schuster who created Superman and DC Comics over who owns the rights to what. So they've got to get a movie in production by this year and Mattel, it looks like, is going to be doing whatever uh, eventually gets licensed out of that movie. Now, we've had some other Mattel news come out in the last week. One of the things has been Mad Maddie Monday. Mattel is going to be cleaning out their warehouse by offering some combo packs of different characters and licenses grouped together in sort of a blind box format. For $40, you will be buying one of these product line boxes. You can choose either Masters of the Universe Classics, uh, DC Universe, or Ghostbusters. You are guaranteed to get more than your $40 box price, more likely somewhere around the $60 mark. If you consider that figures run about 20 bucks in each of these lines, you're probably getting three figures for that $40 price. Now, since these are blind box, you have no idea what you're, what you're getting. They've said they're going to keep duplicates out of the boxes. So so if you order the Masters of the Universe pack, you'll probably get a weapons rack, you'll get Bo from Princess of Power, and whoever's left over, I don't know, an optic reissue or a Zodak or something. If you buy uh, DC Universe uh, box, you're probably hoping to get a DC Universe Classics, but more likely you're going to be getting a DC Universe retro action figure. That's because the retro actions have been cancelled, but we'll get to that in just a minute. And Ghostbusters, of course. Uh, whatever Ghostbusters has. So, maybe retro, I don't know, maybe they're classic stuff. It's hard to say, but you will get more than your $40 worth. So, make sure you're ready for the Mad Maddie sale. That'll be June 27th. So, start saving up now. For those of you who complain about having to buy two figures a month, now you can buy this bonus pack, good for customizations, for ripping off the heads to make a keychain, for making that SM Masters of the Universe video that you've always wanted to make but you didn't really want to scar up your original figures, well, now you got a plan. For Mattel's middle of the month Ask Maddie answers, we got a bunch of different things from all over the interwebs, but two main things stood out. One, Mattel continues to hold to the idea that no adults are going to buy three and three quarter inch figures, so therefore they don't need any articulation in the Green Lantern line. They say that kids care more about having accessories and different types of decos as opposed to having movable knees and elbows. And to this I say, shenanigans, I have two kids, plus I'm an adult, I'd like to buy some too, but unfortunately, they all suck. 
Other news coming out of the Maddie Answers are from uh, Infinite Hollywood. They did a whole theme of asking questions about the Retro Action Line, only to find out that yes, the Retro Action Line is cancelled. There are going to be no future figures after 2011 because nobody bought them. They're not going to be appearing in any more stores and you're not going to see any more exclusives. For right now, you can find some at Toys R Us and some online at Maddie.com. And then once uh, 2000 wraps up, so will all of the retro action figure lines. Because let's face it, these are dolls. For those of you who enjoy getting your Mattel figures in the mail, but hate having to fight the white screen of death from Mattel's inept Maddie Collector store, they have announced that they will be opening Club Lion Force on Maddie Collector. Just like Club Ecto-1 and the uh, Club Eternia, they are going to be adding the Club Lion Force line of figures. Now, they haven't announced what any of these figures are. I'm going to assume there will be some sort of six or seven inch figure similar to the Ghostbusters classics or similar to the Masters of the Universe classics. However, I'm holding out hope that we will get maybe Hot Wheels inspired die cast uh, lions, maybe even ones that combine together in the old Matchbox style that came out in the early 80s. However, these are going to work the same way as the uh, Club Ecto-1 and the uh, Club Eternia, and they are going to allow you to combine the shipping for all of these clubs in 2012. So if you order two subscriptions to Maddie Collector, one to Club Lion Force and one to Club uh, Eternia, whatever I said, I don't know, one of these, one of those, and one of that, just throw them together. Anyway, regardless, they will ship them all at one time in order to save on shipping. And... Mattel has announced they will go back to their old shipping boxes. You know, the ones that actually kind of worked? Yeah, they're going to go back to that. Instead of taking the white mailer boxes that we've seen them ship them in recently in order to save money on shipping and not pass any of that savings on to you, they are going to go back to putting them in boxes so they don't get absolutely crushed in the mail. There have been reports from all over the interwebs that people are straight up getting busted, broken, crushed, smashed figures, and they call to complain, and they will get uh, replacement sent, but it's still a hassle and a pain, and sometimes they even get charged for additional shipping, although we cannot confirm that at this time. People claim all sorts of things on the internet. It's hard to tell, but... Mattel's big announcement that they are going to allow you to save on shipping has been great news for a lot of collectors. And finally, October Toys has announced Series 1 of OMFG. These are figures based off of the Muscle or Monster in My Pocket line. They're raising funds to make this toy line through Kickstarter. And you can go to Kickstarter by the flesh-colored pack of figures, or you can pay extra, get the black pack of figures, or pay extra extra and get both packs of figures which was my option, as a matter of fact. But these figures have names, not all of them we can say here on this program, but King Castor, the Crawdad Kid, Stroll, and the Phantom Sh House. I'll let you put the missing syllable in the middle of that one. These look like great toys. I'm eagerly looking forward to these. I'm hoping there's a Wave 2 through Wave 15 I'll be able to get my hands on. And let it be known that if you go to thatnewtoysmail.com and click on the story regarding OMFG Series 1, you will be able to see the trailer. That's right. They did a video trailer to announce this new line of figures. And trust me, you want to see it. So head on over to thatnewtoysmail.com. Don't forget to check out our forums, all the other news that we have up on our webpage. And now it's time for your video review. 